Hey guys, VP Tuber, and today I'm bringing you guys, uh, guys another GTA 5 video. And today we're doing the Humane Raid. And make sure to check out part one and part two. If not, then y'all won't know how we got here. Go. So many jets you have to take out. These jets are four decades newer than the Hydra. Keep going. You imagine if it's in real life. It'd be so crazy. Imagine how many fire jets would be at the bottom of the ocean. Wouldn't this be like impossible because you can't have infinity uh, jets, or, I mean not jets, those rocket launchers on your jet. So, I wonder how many jets are at the bottom of the sea after it's all done. That's be more than 10. Yeah.
is really far away. We're in total house four. Watch out. Mission ended. Oh, they had team wise. Yeah, but you have a team life. If you die one more time, then the thing ends. Or twice. Yeah, look down there, team lives. You only get a certain amount of lives in total. There's one down there. Two down there. Three. comes out of the jet, goes back into the 4x4. Four four. We use the jet to make some money, destabilize an oil state, and we prep the insurgent to go back into the Meriwether fleet. Now, you, we're moving on to phase two, and that means taking the insurgent, once it's fitted with the EMP, and getting it into humane labs, so we can turn the lights on. Hey, careful with that thing! It also means getting a Valkyrie attack chopper from, <laughs> well, this will teach him who to listen to, Meriwether Security at the port of LS. Once we're done with that, we'll go back to your place, get started on that thing I know nothing about. Details are on your board. You're bored at the apartment. Go. I think it should be done now. Yep, set up pass. Yeah, guys. Make sure to subscribe, comment, and if y'all haven't seen the uh, part one and part two, make sure you go check it out, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.